Nevertheless, well, you cannot beat the value of a franchise quarterback, particularly for the Cleveland Browns. Well, first of all, you're wrong for a couple of reasons. Number one, you spent so much time talking about how right I was about Saquon Barkley that we probably don't remember what you said about Baker Mayfield. That's number one. Number two, and more importantly, when you talk about Baker Mayfield, keep this in mind. You use the phraseology franchise quarterback. Well, once again, that's Maximilian being quite slick. In other words, when you're a franchise quarterback, that means you're the quarterback for that franchise. There is no debate about that. It doesn't mean you're great. It just means that you're better than what they have available. So if you've got Tyrod, think about this for a Wrong. second here. Think about it for a second here. Again, if that's your guy that you're going to go with, it doesn't necessarily mean that he's going to be great. It just means that he's the best available for you. When you wrong. took a You're look wrong. at Tyrod You're Taylor, wrong. right now, what did they say about Tyrod Taylor, Max? Think about what they said about Tyrod Taylor last year. You, he's a good quarterback. He's the middle of the road. He's not great throwing outside the numbers. He throws a beautiful deep pass, but in between the seams, not so much, and he can make plays with his legs. So he's serviceable, if not a little bit better. You're going to utilize him for a few games. Baker Mayfield comes in there because you drafted him number one overall, but that doesn't mean he's going to be great. Okay, you're, you're wrong, and since you went at my rhetorical style, I will say don't play ball control. Let me come back at you. Here's the bottom line about the phrasing and the terminology, Stephen A. If you call okay. someone a franchise quarterback, that does not simply mean he's the best guy you got. That's a starter. A starting quarterback, all 32 teams have one, right? He's good enough well, to be a starter. Sometimes you'll hear me say a, a bubble starter. No, a franchise quarterback implies, or at least I'm implying, and I, I infer when others use the term, that they mean the franchise believes in that guy. He's not just the best thing they have, the best option, so he starts. He's mm. not like the 25th best quarterback in football, so he's a bubble starter or maybe even a starter. He's a guy you can give the keys to the, of the franchise to. Okay, can I ask you a question? You're going to be our guy for the foreseeable future. We may, think we can win a Super Bowl may, with may, you. May I ask you a question? And, Molly, I would appreciate it if you jump in here because mm -hmm. Maximilian is going to try to dance around this like Fred Astaire. So I'm going to need your help okay, on this, Molly. I was enjoying you uh, just because, calling because, each other because, wrong. Because, it was because, very because, because, because here's, here's the deal. I'm, I'm all the way in L.A. I can't check up to his face. I'm about to film General Hospital later on today. Brick tell. has returned, I okay? Got, I'm, I'm, I saw you I'm got cleaned up. I'm, I'm, I'm in soap opera mode. But here's the deal, Max Kellerman. Molly, correct me if yeah. I'm wrong. Mm -hmm. Wasn't a guy by the name of Ryan Tannehill labeled a franchise quarterback for the Miami Dolphins course, when yeah. they decided to pay him $94 million? Mm -hmm. uh, $95 million? Mm -hmm. How's that working out, Max? Is that a franchise quarterback? Right, the pro but right. He, in he's other a words, franchise the, quarterback. The franchise made a mistake. No, but if we were discussing it, and maybe even with Kirk Cousins, we're going to find out about Kirk Cousins. Some guys you pay long term, you're saying, we believe you're a franchise quarterback. Doesn't make, make the franchise right. No, no, no. I'm what only, no, no, I'm no, 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 no. Don't change the narrative. I'm only making the argument that they said that. No, no. I'm saying they said. He was a franchise guy, meaning he's and their guy. Wrong. He's going to be yep. their starter. Mm -hmm. I'm saying all but I was Stephen saying was a. that don't make you great. That's what I was saying. Right, but because sometimes teams are wrong about who they make their quarterback. In other words, a critic, you or I, would say they thought he was a franchise quarterback. Okay. They were wrong. I believe that about Tannehill, Gentlemen. by the way, and I have questions about Kirk Cousins. But I, that, what I'm saying about Baker Mayfield is he will prove to the likes of you and me and Molly and others that Baker Mayfield is indeed a bona fide franchise quarterback. He'll do it by the end of this year. He will prove the Browns' gutsy call correct, yep. and you can't beat that value. And I'm he's going to plant that his flag on everybody's field. And, and Molly, I'm not yeah. saying that won't happen. What I'm saying is that doesn't mean that he'll be more attractive or more productive than Saquon Barkley. I'm not sitting here calling Baker Mayfield a scrubber. He can't mm -hmm. play. I'm simply saying when you compare him to the impact of Barkley's course. gonna have, yeah. I think Saquon Barkley's impact is yeah. gonna be greater. And I'm with you on that. Saquon Barkley's the future. Kid's the real deal. But Max, valiant argument by you there.